Hi guys, I'm Chris from Counseling Solutions by Chris. I'm so glad that you're here. k h Solutions on Etsy. Today we're going to talk about job, job interview checklist, and all the things that you need to do. This is a time of the year where probably you're looking for a job or you're considering to get a new job. So if that's you, school counselor, hey, you're in the right channel. Don't forget to subscribe. I would like to tell you that you came to the right place and this is your channel. So do me a favor, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Great job. So today I have three, 13, 13 tips for you with a job checklist interview. That means that if you are new to our channel or if you feel lost or you don't know what we're talking about or if you're looking for a job or maybe it's been a while since the last time you applied for a job, this video is for you. Okay, tip number one, arrive early, 15 to 20 minutes to observe the work environment, the school environment, and what's going on in there. Do you visualize yourself uh, working with that type of people? Do you visualize yourself in there? That's very important. What type of vibe do you get? Tip number two, let me move this out of the way. Dress and act professionally. This is very important. You don't go in jeans to a job interview. That's not what you want to do. So make sure that you dress up accurately for your position, business casual, and find your way to be yourself, but at the same time to look well, okay? Let's move on. The other one paper and pen take a few notes during the interview that shows that you care also if there's some questions or do you want to ask them something later on it's very important that you write that down also if they're telling you to do something that you're not an expert yet it's very important that you find a way to don't forget those little details don't leave it to your memory because memory can trick you now tip number four multiple copies of your resume at least six copies and this happens to all of us depending on the panel it could be one person two person two people it could be like a panel of six or eight or ten and that happened to me a couple of times so make sure that you have everything you need tip number five other documentation legal driver's license etc usually when you have to register there's a receptionist and they're going to ask you for a couple of documents so it's very important if you have a driver's license passport any type of id the other one tip number Oh, we talk about this when we're moving forward. Okie dokie. Tip number six, some cash on hand. May You may have to pay the parking or if you need to use valet parking, well, yeah, some cash won't hurt you. The other one, tip number seven, make time to research the company, the school, the district, and the job description. If there's any questions that you may have about what you need to do, maybe you need how to target your responses if you look at the job description. Maybe you will discover stuff from the company that, that you want to bring up to the district or the reasons why you want to work for them. That's very important. Tip number eight, speak positively and make eye contact. Eye contact makes you feel like you're confident in what you're saying. In the opposite side, if you start looking sideways, it may look like you're insecure, that you're looking for a response, that you don't know what you're doing. Um, um, so, so, um, 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 that you're not sure what to say. Number nine, Create your own interview questions related to the field. And this part is like to help you practice. What are some possible interview questions that you may have? And if you have no idea in the school counseling job, I have tons of videos. There's a big old playlist that I'm going to attach under the description down below. And I will include that for you. It's on videos and notes and some of questions that you may encounter in the process. Um, tip number 10, practice answering questions out loud. Also, you can record yourself. Some people said that practice makes perfect. Good practice. Make a good experience out of it. Drink coffee if you need to. I love coffee. So in the mornings, practice your interviews and you can even record yourself. You can even write down those responses and see if you're missing something or if there's anything else that you can add or you can even research them. Tip number 11, address any physical or mental needs let's say that you had recently a baby and you're nursing and you need that time let's say that maybe if it's epilepsy or anything like very delicate that you need to discuss the only thing that i want to tell you just be careful with those specific needs i truly believe that i have to be honest but i also believe that that could be 
a factor for them to hire you or not hire you. If you have a situation like you have babies and you need to run at, as soon as school ends because you need to pick them up, it's very important that you also feel free to let them know that. But at the same time, let me know it ahead of time if we need to stay a little bit longer so I can make the arrangements with my mom, with my husband, with the daycare, with whoever you need to talk to, okay? Don't forget about that, but be careful and be wise. Practice how you're going to say it, how it's going to sound, and what is what you need. What's your main goal? The next one, tip number 12, last but not least, prepare questions. When they ask you, do you have any questions for us? It looks very well that you have questions. Actually, research says that a candidate who doesn't ask questions, it's someone that they are like, eh, we're not interested in this person. That can disqualify you for your position. So it's very important that you ask questions at the end of your interview okay and i would like to tip last 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 tip 13 send after after your interview 24 hour gap you need to send a thank you email letter and if you're looking for any of that i'm going to put in the description down below so i have resume templates i have a sample of a thank you letter and more for you if you need it if you have your own perfect just use it don't forget 24 hours you have in between your interview and when you pass to send that thank you email letting them know that you are very grateful for the opportunity and i want to close with a quote it's time to start living the life you've imagined hashtag chase your dreams boys and girls and, and women and men chase your dream. This is your new adventure. Make it count, make it worth it and go for it. See you next time. I'm so glad that you're here. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. If you need anything, I will put more stuff in the description down below. Bye.